Hey everyone, I just wanted to kind of show you how I have my Scorp bot set up. Now if you dual stream to both Twitch and Beam, this is definitely the bot you want to use. So let's see here. Down over here we have the, I'll you know, show you the count, how many viewers you have in your stream. Of course you know, stream jar, air bot, which is Scorp bot and Beam bot. The one thing you have to do in order to make it work properly is you have to have an account for both your bot as well as yourself. Then when you go to generate your auth token, you have to log yourself at a beam, then log into your bot's account, open score bot, generate this auth token, you know, and paste it in here. Then log your bot out of Beam, and then log yourself back into Beam, generate your own auth token, and with uh, Twitch, you, do, you have to do the same thing. Except for some reason, Beam has two logins, and Twitch only has, at least the Beam has a window for two logins, but Twitch only has one. So I don't use, um, Twitch for, or I don't use, uh, not streaming to Twitch right now, so I haven't even updated the bot name. So, and you can include this in the connect all. So, you want to, if you want to do any of the other, other ones, you know, stream jar, discord, games, you can connect score bot to all these. But it's just, it's very important that you log out of your actual account the streaming service, then log into your bot's account, then generate the auth token. Otherwise it won't work. So we see here we got a dashboard which will show you where you're all connected, allow you to change titles and game names, show you who's done what while that bot's been logged in. Uh, so I'm switch and beam. Uh, it does allow the auto hosting for both. Yeah, if, if you don't want to use Twitch's built-in auto host, you can use the, these ones. And Beam doesn't have an auto host. And you can either do, oh, set it to disabled. You can either do it by you know random order or list order, and you can make a priority change. I have run into some problems with it when you go to unhost from the bot that even though it shows that you're not hosting somebody and it'll show offline when you start streaming, it will just show you, it'll say you're offline and not start showing your stream. So I, I prefer to go to the, to my stream, click on host and then, or, you know, have this disabled, come here, disable it, then go to my stream, click on host and then start streaming. That's a nice little uh, viewer page showing you either by Twitch name or, and you can even sort all these. So one of the nice things, and we're going to do that here. Like my wife here, I can add on a sound effect when she enters my chat and as well as display a chat message. So like hide the porn, my wife is here and then it plays this song. And if you have manual ranks, uh, like I do for my uh, Game West subscribers, this is where you would come and add the manual ranks. Auto is just whatever the bots, the, the ranks that everybody gets set in with the bots. And then you can actually make people not participate in giveaway. Gain hours or even gain currency or points. And I did just do giveaways today with this. I uh, used it for the first time. So you can just select everybody in, the, in your chat. Our viewers must enter. Now, normally you would think that the filled in dot is the active one, but no, it's, it's the partially emptied one. You can make it so if you want to have it so they have to follow it, be a follower. The command to enter the the... Giveaway if you want it in Twitch, Beam, or both. If you want to make a, you know, they have to have a point, a number of points to enter. How long you want to allow them to enter. 
if you want them to have have to have been active for any for any certain time. If you want to skip winners. Then when you click start, it'll display the the countdown timer here. And then once it's done, it'll display the name as well as your bot uh, will say in chat who won. And then if you want to set up to where they have to claim the prize, you know, then they'll have to enter in and how long you will give them to claim the prize. So like well, the way it's set, if the winner does not put this command in chat, after 45 seconds, it's going to re-roll for a new, uh, new winner. You can set reminders. It'll announce in chat. You know, we need a final minute when the final 10 seconds are. Currency, which is pretty much typical with any bot. You, know, you have your auto ranks here. And how your your point payouts work and bonuses. You can purge all points, purge all hours if you want. Commands, which are are pretty simple. They're pretty straightforward. And they do have some prefab ones like shoutout caster, highlight uptime raid. Then you would just click load and it puts it up there. So you already got the uptime. You know, you know, and it puts it as uptime as the, as the command. You don't have to worry about, you not have to worry about doing that. Those are pretty common use. Sound effects, cooldowns, universal cooldown, and then per user cooldown. So you know, if you don't want them to spam. Chat, local chat, both. At public whisper, both. And these are timers, there's chat messages that your your bot will go out. You can have the set interval, and then if you want to for a, a command to have its own separate cooldown, like if you don't want it going every 15 minutes, then you can set a cooldown longer. Like yeah, as I have here. Tools. So if you like want to take a break for like 10 minutes, just or you know maybe gonna go eat something or go have a smoke. You know, you can just set your time here, seconds, minutes, hours. Use this copy path to clipboard to add it as a browser source. In uh, OBS, have a sound effects. The clear file means it will not go into negative numbers when it stops. Q is really nice. So if you're playing a uh, team-based or group-based game and you have a lot of viewers and you want to make sure they all you know get a turn, you can use this Q... Then there's also these nice little counters, again, a path to kill clipboard. So if you put text deaths count, every time somebody does this command, this count's going to rise up. So on your screen, it would display deaths one and then so on and so forth. And if you only want moderators to be able to do it, well, I don't even have it set up. Quotes. I've never used a quote system before, but it's there. Song requests do work. However, with Beam in particular, they don't have a way to mute any copyrighted songs from your VODs. So as their uh, terms of service, they just ask you not to play copyrighted music. But it's there. It works. I had a friend, uh, my moderator, uh, try it out. Sound effects. So anywhere there's a sound effects, you're going to want to put them in here. And to do that, you just click open folder. You copy your sound effects here. Click reload, and it'll show the new one in. You can actually have them as commands. If So if I wanted somebody to, say, be able to do John Cena, I, I just click command. Type the command in. If I wanted to cost a certain number of points, put it in there. This is how uh, graphics, this is how I run my actual stream alerts. So what I do is I have a, a GIF, then you would load, save it in, the, in this media folder. Hit reload, and then it should be able to be available from this drop down. So I have a GIF. Now you can adjust the size and the position within this window. And you can have it 
say how many times you want that gift to loop. If there is a sound you want it to play, which is in my sound effects folder. This is the text displayed on the alert itself, not on the, the chat. And then just show you some reminder variables. The text of the chat, if there's you want an outline. So I'm gonna test or a test here real quick. I have a present. Well, let's see. You'd be able to see if I had it. So that real quick. All right, now let's do this again. I have a present. So as you see the alert here. So one thing though that Scorpbot does is it has this background chroma key. So you run into the issue of your graphics having the same color as this chroma key. Now you didn't see it with, with cooldown. Present. Because he doesn't really have that. Now, if I had used a green background, it definitely would. Or such here. You are not Illidan. prepared. So his glaives here would gray out if I used a green chroma key. So now the subscriber alert, when you look over here on in the, the magenta area, versus when you look over here for the actual displayed alert is going to be, you're going to notice a color difference in the body of the Punisher here. And his name is John C. You see over here, and he's kind of graying out on this side. So I'll run that again. And his name is John C. You notice there's a little bit of graying out. So, but you can pick any color you want, custom colors. So, but the nice thing about using a score bot with for alerts versus a um a streaming service like Streamjar is that if the graphic is saved on the internet, your computer has to load it from the internet and display it, encode it and stream it. And so with Scorebot is it just has to pull it off your hard drive. So I'm able to get these really nice Detailed, animated prepared. alerts. Whereas when I tried to use StreamJar, I had to degrade the quality down because, man, I don't even know. Let's see. So Illidan here is one megabyte. Gold Dan is 1.2. So yeah, you can get larger sizes. And more detail. Oh, and one more thing to add with the graphics in this chroma key. If you minimize this, you are not prepared. You see nothing. You are not so prepared. So what I do is on my secondary my secondary monitor, I just have it open behind it. You and it works are just fine. not prepared. And of course, like with most bots, it has games. You, know, you have slots, high state ball, roulette, bets is coming, and a random number generator. But what sets uh, Scorebot out from all the other bots, uh, at least earlier, I don't know if any other bots have started incorporating relay, but you can relay the chat between Twitch and Beam. So if you're streaming to both, somebody says something in your beam, your bot in your Twitch will then display your know, username message, and then you can change the colors. And you can also you know hide people. And it, oh, you can also prefix it to show if it was in your Twitch or your beam. That makes it really nice. So then your viewers can actually even interact with uh, each other on the different services. This is where you set up your alerts. This is the chat, stream chat messages that the bot will put out. And then you just tell it you know, what graphics to use. If you didn't set a sound in there, but you want a sound to play, you can set it here. And most of the other same, same controls, you know, word filters, 
Link protection, cat protection. You can automatically have people become regular at a certain number of points. And you can see your regulars, or you can manually add regulars, uh, regulars in editors here. This last tab, web, is just for uh, Scorebot's web. They have a web page showing the streamers that are using Scorebot. You know, and it will, uh, you know, as a way to promote you. Now, if you used Onkbot, you can import your settings from Onkbot into here because they're pretty much uh, worked on the same uh, premise. So that is it for Scorpbot. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them the best I can. In here, we auto hosted Builder Phoenix and Forkits, which is supposed to be disabled, so I don't know that started. Anyways, we'll talk to you later. You take me down